Hey everybody and welcome back to another Bullcast Reaction. I'm Carson. I'm Lindsay. Today we're reacting to Kaguya-sama Love is War, uh, Season 2, Episode 1. And uh, I'm really excited for this one. We're both really excited for this one, if I can speak for you. This is a show that we watched recently. We didn't watch it when it was coming out. We watched it maybe like a month or two ago. And we really enjoyed it. And we were really excited to hear that Season 2 was coming out. Uh, it just came out today as we're recording this. I think we're going to post it tomorrow if we can, but we'll see. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I mean, if you if you found this video, you probably know what it's all about, but uh, season one was hilarious. We really liked Chica mm -hmm. as a character. Um, yeah, we, we well, we loved everyone. And just yeah. like the whole conceit of the show, uh, I found out about it. Uh, not through like seasonal seasonal anime stuff, but through um, Super Eye Patch Wolf, who did a video on like Shonen Battle series that are not like battle about <laughs> battling, they're about like different whatever things. So, um, yeah, I was really excited to watch it, and then we did, and we just loved it. So we're just gonna get right into this, you guys. <laughs> Check out our other videos. Um, we have a bunch of Naruto reactions. We have a bunch of opening and ending rankings uh, that are gonna be on our channel. Um, and one for Full Metal Alchemist openings that uh, we have already on there. Yeah, check out all that stuff. We're gonna get right into the reaction right now. Kaguya-sama, season two, episode one. What? <laughs> Who is this? Is this Shiragami? Oh, I bet it's Chika. Oh. It's Hayasaka. decaf <laughs> or is he switching out she's switching out the decaf for her. oh god <laughs> decaf <laughs> actually me that quick. <laughs> she has an alarm? Oh, when she's touched. <laughs> this is getting off to a quick start. <laughs> nice. I like it. Oh my god. <laughs> Gal mode. Gal mode. <laughs> what happened there? Oh my god. <laughs> Unpredictable. <laughs> oh my god. Knock that bitch out. You mess up, Nappy. I wonder what the tally is of wins to losses. I forget. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's so intense about it. <laughs> you? What? <laughs> Toilet paper, don't waste that shit, dude. What, are you, what the fuck is the matter with you? <laughs> I like how they put it so, like, I don't know, softly. Nirvana. <laughs> 
度アイドル前にしたいみたいな<笑>まあアイドルで生徒会のみんなで花火見に行くかみたいな<笑>そういうのを作ってくれたそういうのをデートしたりしてねそれはへえなんかすいません<笑><笑><笑><笑>僕は知らないセックスを知らないセックスを知らないセックスを知らないセックスを Not two of them. <laughs> get... <laughs> oh no. Kagi wants to get married. <laughs> like, <laughs> the happy life game. <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> What did you just fucking say? <laughs> you like that 3D dice that they had? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> What is this game? <laughs> It's about the deck stacked. Remember last time she tried to play something? What? She's just playing like D&D, &D, like she's, she's just fucking making it up. Distress all men card. <laughs> I don't want it. There's only two of you playing, isn't there? <laughs> oh. Oh, sh- <laughs> I didn't know she was actually playing. <laughs> Not <laughs> Rich kid problems. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, teen mom. <laughs> She keeps trying to get real money. <laughs> Nine? <laughs> oh, it's distrust, not distress. Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> Birds? <laughs> they're like, they're like, how did that lead? <laughs> yeah. Mr. 
to where the sudden death was. One year earlier oh, what? to the start of the series, I guess. <laughs> oh, because he's not super rich. Mm -hmm. Like, he's rich, but... No, he's he's poor. Is he poor? He's there on, like, scholarship. He's, like, the best student. Oh. <laughs> I can't seem to bring it up this, but... Of course she's a fucking New Year's baby. <laughs> Is that the birthstone for what's January? I have no idea. I think it's just fake. <laughs> <laughs> True. <laughs> Girls' Day. <laughs> Why is she naked? It's pure. It's purity. That's the point. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> He's mad his birthday's on the same day. Oh, really? <laughs> She's still doing it. Same. Yeah, exactly. Such bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> she lost. She's losing. <laughs> She's getting so frustrated. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> Never mind, not same. He's already checked that site. He shares a room with his sister. This is the opening. Maybe. That does seem like an opening, though. It's. It seems like it's the same person. Do you want to stop it and wait till we actually see it? Other or, or, or is this we good? Can just watch it. Okay. Oh, remember that lunch? It looks so good. How did? Okay. Hang on. That's so smart. <laughs> I love it. Two halves of the heart. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? He was there earlier. He's. Is he like the principal? I don't know. He's somebody. I forget. 
Oh, oh my god. There at one point. This is such a good show. I don't know what else to say. Like it's just so fucking good. Every like everything about it is good. The 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 timing is incredible. The characters are all distinct enough, but it all have their own similarities. Like mm-hmm. Ishigami is like the funny like he I don't think he's the funniest character necessarily, but his presence like as sort of this like odd man out even of like he's he's further outside the group than like Chika is than mm-hmm. Fujiwara. So like his perspective on everything is always hilarious because he's like both outside and like the most because he's the only other guy he's most yeah. like Shirogane. Oh my god. Like I don't I don't know what it is about the show. Everything is fucking hilarious. Just it's so well done in every way. It's fucking awesome. Like settle down. <laughs> Yeah, I like. I almost forgot how it was like, like a bunch of different like, uh, yeah. m- like mini, not like mini episodes, but like pretty much. I yeah. mean, yeah, like, like mini episodes, mini like scenarios that are happening in each episode. And I love that. It I- makes it so much better because none of like the jokes or like nothing's like dragged out so long exactly. that you forget what's happening. It's just like nice and quick, like five-ish mm-hmm. minutes it doesn't waste your time and yeah it doesn't require you to like keep keep tabs on all these yeah. crazy yeah, details it's so crazy like everything that's going on they're like oh yeah this and then like last year this happened and like mm-hmm. all this like other stuff any so it's jokes like... Th- like no jokes really rely usually on like previous experience like yeah th- it, if if a joke relies on like the uh, the memory of a previous like a, if it's like a callback uh, it's usually to, like, enhance the joke. Like, the jokes work on their own if you haven't seen the rest of the show. Yeah. And that's what's really good, and I don't know, I am I really like serialized shows that are, like, like Naruto, like we've been watching, like, it's, it spans, like, years and hundreds of episodes and all the shit, and it's a continuous story that builds on it. But, like, for comedy, I, I don't know, they, they just really do something right, and it, it shows that you don't need to have this huge overarching narrative to tell a good story and to be super entertaining. And That's why I, I love like, the show. I could almost even argue that, like, even if I hadn't, like, even if you hadn't seen any of the first season mm-hmm. and you just watched that, the characters, like, are so, like, just embody, like, what they sort of believe and mm-hmm. how they're acting to the point. You don't even need their backstory. Yeah. It's just, like, so apparent as long as you, like, kind of know what's going on it fully makes sense you don't have to yeah it's not like i don't know it it only it only rewards you for paying closer attention but it doesn't require you to do that it and it really pulls you in and like makes you care about what's going Mm -hmm. on you don't have to like stuff like that it a lot of shows ask you like they they sort you need to like give something to get something back with this one you don't really need to do that you just need to give your attention and it really pays off you don't need to like invest every all everything in you to like really sort of put yourself in that situation yeah. and, and all this shit like it, it, it really just pulls you in and it, it, i just love it it's it's so good uh i have some notes oh, uh, unless I, you, I have you have some I other oh yeah sure um i don't know one thing that like i don't super like about anime is when everything's like crazy over the top and just like i don't know just like really yeah i guess over the top but like with this show it works so well because like it's, they're doing it to be funny and to, like, make it so dramatic out of mm-hmm. literally nothing. It's not like they're, like, literally, like, punching each other and it's, like, this huge physical yeah. fight that they're just, like, blowing out of proportion. They're, whatever, writing on a piece of paper and it's, like, literally the most intense thing mm-hmm. in their life at that moment. Yeah, but which- unlike something like Death Note, he's super intense writing on a piece of paper and it's, like, crazy uh, epic and the music's playing and all this shit. It's making, like, a, mon- a mundane task really bombastic and crazy. This show does that, too. Except because it's comedy, because it's a joke, it doesn't take itself seriously. That's It's yeah. similar to how One Punch Man does a lot of its com- comedy, which we should watch eventually because it's a short series. I think you would like it for the same reasons yeah. the show's good. It, it, t- it takes conventions, it flips them on their head, but it takes, like, the, uh... It, it kind of makes fun of how crazy and bombastic uh, anime can be mm-hmm. and how over-the-top everything is. And the fact that it's so over-the-top is the joke because it's so stupid. Yeah. Like, and, or it's so, like, that's it's not a big deal and all these tiny things. But... Also, with Kaguya, it's like, I, I don't know, when, when you're, like, when, when you like, so, when you have a big crush on someone, it can really, like, it, there's a part of it that is really true, like, it, and that's why it's so funny, because, like, mm-hmm. if you're, 
thinking about how this person is reacting and you're trying to like play 3d chess in your mind of like is this person gonna like this joke and all this stuff or it, you're taking all these risks and like laying traps in a weird way to like <laughs> to like all uh whatever if you're in a conversation you say this thing rather than this you go you take the conversation in this direction because you know that it's going to lead to like a different <laughs> topic or whatever the, the strategic aspect is blown way out of proportion but it, there's a, a part of it that rings true, then it's it's actually, I don't know, interesting. And that part of it is kind of relatable to me. Um, gal mode. I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> that was so funny. Oh, my. <laughs> that, that, like, first little clip was such a great way to start mm -hmm. season two. Because, like, it, it doesn't, it jumps right into the main plot without really jumping into mm -hmm. it. Like, it, t it takes the focus away from, like, the two main characters and is like, all right, here's this side character that you don't see much of just going insane mm -hmm. for a couple minutes. And just, yeah, and another way, a creative way to go over the top without just doing what they've done before. Yeah. It's something new. That's it's actually, from a like, action-y, like, <laughs> yeah. for real. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's, like, uh, it's like how some shows, um, they start in the future or they start in, like, a different area to, like, get people hooked and then they go back to, like, what the story is mm -hmm. actually about. With this one, they kind of did that, but they did, I don't know. It's just really cool the way they did that. Um, and it kind of catches you off guard because you're not expecting some sort of crazy, like, lasers and, yeah. like, flipping through the lasers and stuff. And, and then you're like, you're like, what is going on? And then she replaces the coffee and you're like, this totally fits in yeah. to the show. Ah, uh, it's so good. Um, and then, yeah, the, just gal mode when it said gal mode. I forgot that she's a gal. But and they, I don't think they ever say she's a gal. Maybe they do at one point. But I kind I think I remember like picking up on that at the like last season. Mm -hmm. She dyes her hair blonde. That's not just like a, a like an animation choice. Like a lot of time in anime, they color people's hair differently, even though they're just Asian people or Japanese, and they all have the same hair color for the most part. A lot of times, animators will like give them crazy hair colors, like Chica. But Chica could conceivably have the hair color. Anyway, she like. <laughs> She has that whole style. She wears, like, a shorter skirt. She, she has the whole thing. And you mm -hmm. can pick up on it if you know that about Japanese culture or if you're just Japanese in general. Uh, but I just, the way, when that popped up, I was just, I thought it was hilarious. Um, but yeah, I, I also wrote down I like the mini episode structure uh, for reasons we already talked about. Throw away your pride for happiness. They said that while they were doing the uh, Kaguya's fortune. Mm -hmm. And it's so true. But it's funny that they say that it just kind of under the radar a little bit. Like, it's not the focus of the conversation. Somebody, I think, talks over it at some point. And part of her fortune is, like, you need to throw away your pride in order to reach true happiness. Mm -hmm. And then whatever Chica or somebody, like, blows up and says some crazy shit. Um, and how are Japanese people so fucking good at food? Uh, what do you mean, in like, the, in the ending theme, yeah. yeah. Like, I don't know what it is. I, I think about this sometimes, like... Because these, these cultures are, like, the product of thousands of years of development and uh, the product of their environment of that they developed in. That's how they get to that point. How does a culture... How do they evolve to the point where they are so fucking good at food in every single way? The, even the method that they pack their fucking lunches in is, like, the most aesthetic and beautiful thing ever. It's, it's like, I don't, I just, it, it amazes me sometimes. And anime really, like, illuminates or, or reminds really me of that. It makes you want some food. True, I am hungry. Yeah, I don't know. I think about that when whenever I see food in anime because it's kind of a meme that food in anime looks so good. Yeah, I don't know. I, I just think about that sometimes. Like, how does a culture, what has to happen over the course of a culture's development for it to, like, really put all of its development points into food like uh making little octopus wieners yeah and that's like a big thing that's not just this it's i know like, i know a, i've seen that I've, i know it's just i, I know it. you know i'm just saying it's like it, it weirds me out anyway i fucking love this show and uh you have anything else that's all my notes. That's everything that I had. But um, do you have anything else you wanted to say that you could? I was gonna about? say I love like the game that they played <laughs> and how that played out, and like it was just so funny, like <laughs> killing, like <laughs> the sort of like side character who's not really well, just killing him off immediately. <laughs> and so that he just always sits happens, there. doesn't it? Yeah, like shit like that always happens too. Just gets shafted and like excluded <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> So that was just perfect. And then it's just, like, she just keeps getting more and more money, which is, like, literally the tr the actual track she's on in her life. Yeah. <laughs> just getting more money, and she's just, like, 
<laughs> that was really funny. It's, it's just hilarious. I can't wait for next week when the next episode comes out. I guess that's it. Yeah. I guess we can go now. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, we hope you'll tune in next week for the, our next reaction. We'll try to get these out as soon as possible after the episode airs. We hope that you'll check out our other reactions. We just started a Naruto series. We're going to try and upload those uh, once a day, even on weekends, uh, if possible. We might skip a day here or there. Uh, and we have other things, like we reviewed and ranked every Attack on Titan opening. That video is going to come out soon. We already have that one for Full Metal Alchemist that's posted on our channel. And we got a bunch of other stuff coming like that. We got some Ghibli movie uh, reviews and deep dives and stuff like that. So subscribe. This is going to be more, hopefully more than just a reaction channel. Although uh, we do have a lot of reactions uh, for you to sink your teeth into. So we hope you'll stick around. I'm Carson. Lindsay. See you guys later.